You heard the man. You've got to get up here. And let's meet a couple of locals who want a lot of Australians to head up this way. I'm joined by the Gold Coast Mayor on the right, Tom Tate. Good to see you, Tom. And next to you is John Weaver, who's with the Tweed Chamber of uh, Business and Commerce. Uh, you reckon things are a bit better about 30 k south, right? Yeah, that's right. So, but we do get on. We're a bit of a sister city. It's a bit of a partnership here for us. That's for sure. Tweed and Gold Coast is one. That's the difficult thing, Tom. It's been a community divided, not a state States divided necessarily. This is one community, and it's just been right through the middle of it. How much hardship has it created? It's tough, especially uh, when you've got family on the other side of the border, and and basically kids are coming across to go to school. And um, when the border shut down, that was no longer available. So it's been a hard road. But look, I look forward. And now we've got John, and we're back as. Uh, one city again, basically, between Tweed and Gold Coast. Yeah, John, I know there were border passes and people who had to were able to go uh, back and forth in the community. All of that was sorted out. But I'm told there are a lot of delays, yep. uh, so people didn't like the inconvenience. So especially on the New South Wales side, yep. you weren't getting any business from Queensland. So a lot of businesses suffered there as, there as well. That's right. All around the border communities, it was tough. And obviously, as things changed with different passes and uh, COVID restrictions and the bubble, as the bubble evolved, and it was confronting for some people, not only businesses, but your mums and dads in the community, to go through checkpoints in somewhere like Australia. We've never seen that before, not in over 100 years, having to go through a checkpoint. It seems un-Australian. Watching it, experiencing it, these closed borders seem un-Australian. Now, as a New South Welshman, you can speak with impunity. Yep. Was Anastasia Palaszczuk wrong to bring in the closed border in the first, first place, or did she just leave it in too long? Oh, we, we think it just stayed in a bit too long, but it was hard. There was no benchmarking when it come to uh, where we'd get to where, when it related to a COVID hotspot. So we wanted clear guidelines. We got there in the end eventually, so thank you for that. But it was all about both New South Wales and Queensland. It wasn't New South Wales trying to tell Queensland what to do or vice versa. It's more a partnership because we're, we're joined that border. It's the most highly densely populated border in the country, and it's, we're very passionate about this region. And, Tom, you've got people flying in already. Uh, they're coming here for holidays. They're coming to reunite with families. You want them, of course, though, to book next month, uh, next year. D where's the confidence? Do Queenslanders remain confident that Anastasia Palaszczuk will keep the border open? We're looking forward now for um, the long summer holiday. And today it was very emotional that family joins with friends. And I say to you, you know, book with confidence. We'll look after you. Yeah, well, are you concerned that that's going to happen, though? I mean, we're, we're, we know that people are worried. We know some are worried about booking because they don't know whether the rules are in place. Do we need clear guidelines nationally so that we know that Anastasia Palaszczuk or Stephen Marshall, as did the other week, don't take drastic decisions on lockdowns and borders that kill business instantly? I think uh, borders uh, should be time of the past. As we move forward in the world of COVID-19... If there's a, say, small breakout in Adelaide or, or wherever it is, it should be a localised um, lockdown there. And then the rest of us, we're Australians, and then we can move around freely. That's the answer, isn't it, John? Focus on communities and hotspots, not state borders? Absolutely, yeah, for us. And part of the National Cabinet, um, border closures were never on that agenda to start with. Then all of a sudden it became part of the agenda, and we had to you know, compromise and work through that, and businesses and families all had to adapt and evolve. In Indeed, the Prime Minister hasn't liked them, but he hasn't yeah. been able to stop them. So uh, right. let's hope everything stays open. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. No problem, right, thank you. Be like a boomerang. You're going back to Sydney, but you come back. I'll be back. Don't you worry. <laughs>